Hello, I'm Paul Dennert, current state representative from District 2, which is around Aberdeen. I was a legislator when the South Dakota-owned cement plant was sold to a private company. I did not vote for the sale of the cement plant because with the sale of the cement plant, also a hundred year supply of limestone was included. However, the sale was approved by the legislative action. Proceeds from the sale were used to form a trust fund. The Constitution mandated a $12 million transfer to the State General Fund each year as well as a 5% distribution of funds if the market value had the growth that would allow it. The stock market collapsed in 2008 and 9. The market value of the trust fund diminished to a value less than when the trust fund was created. The mandatory $12 million annual transfer even continued after that and decreased the fund further. These two events declined the trust fund value by a little over $100 million in a short period of time. If we were to have sustained the period of low performance, the mandatory $12 million might exhaust the fund even further. We also have two other state trust funds that distribute 4% of the 16 quarter market value of these funds. If we do the, pass this amendment, Amendment L, it would be set up the same way. Passage of Amendment L would not allow distributing more dollars from the fund than the market value could support. If you feel as I do that the trust fund should never self-destruct, voting yes on Amendment L will protect the trust fund from self-destruction. Please vote yes on Amendment L. Thank you.